We're gonna do well today. We're gonna do our last part on fractions. Last thing that we need to do with them, which you probably guessed is dividing fractions because we've added them, subtracted them, and multiplied them. And dividing fractions is actually quite easy. It's very similar to multiplying fractions, really. So here's the method. The first step is we change the divide to a times and we reverse the second fraction and then we just use the multiplication method which we did in the last video. So we're going to do some examples here and I'm going to show you how we do them. So I write this sum, down, sum out again, two thirds, change that to a times because that's what it says over here. Now change this second fraction upside down like that and then I multiply I get 12 on the top I get 15 on the bottom and I think you will be able to see 3 is a common factor so it simplifies to 4 fifths by taking out the 3 from the top and the bottom so, I'm going to do the same again here. I'm just rewriting it as that first. And then I get 8 on the top. And then I get 28 on the bottom. And then I take out the common factor for this one as well. Let's see what we get out of this one. Maybe I can take a 4 on the top. So leave us with a 2. And let's take a 4 the bottom. And 4, that's be 7. 7 fours in there. So that's 2 sevenths. And we've got another example here. 7 twelfths. And I'll change that to times. 9 fourths. This is going to be a bigger fraction. I'm going to get 63 on the top. And we're going to get 48 on the bottom. So 63, 48. And if you like, you can rewrite that as a mixed number. But I'm just going to leave it as an improper fraction. It's fine. Next one here. We've got improper fractions here as you can see so I'm just going to do it the same way just to show you that they're still working the same way and this is all we do, we'll change it same method and 12 on the top here and get 14 on the bottom this is just through multiplying and I can simplify it so I will I get 6 on the top, 7 on the bottom, 6 sevenths. Right. Next one here, we don't do them with mixed numbers, so we'll change them to improper fractions first. So let us do that. I've got 2 and 5 ninths, so I've got a 9 on the bottom. I've got 18 on the top. And times and add five twenty-three on the top. And this one here, I've got a seven on the bottom. And then I get three on the bottom. So I get a uh, three times seven, twenty-one plus the two. That's going to be another twenty-three. And I can repeat this here. These are pretty big and complicated numbers here, but on the bottom here we'll get 230 if I times that by 10. And then I take away 23, I get 207 there. On the top there, I get, let's say, 
I get ten times that's a little bit of work now here, ten times twenty three that's two hundred and thirty. Divide that by two I get one hundred and sixty five. That's five twenty threes. And then two times twenty three is forty six. And then if I add that on to there, I get one. I get another one. Two. That's not right. That's not right. I've gone wrong, yeah. Sorry about this, this is just ridiculous. I didn't know the numbers would come up so big. Um anyway, same um method really, so yeah, why can it um Let's do it, let's do it, a different method, a method that I like better. One there, four there, two there, one there, one there, six, one there. 161, so we'll go to this answer, and you can play around with that and see if it'll simplify a bit, but I'm on a timer here and I really, you know, can't be bothered. Sorry about the mistake before of the method, but um, I was trying to do it a different way, which was a bit silly really, because this method works better, and you've seen it before, and you know it works. but. Uh, didn't realise the numbers would come out so big because I rushed this a bit. <laughs> 